The moment you enter the house through the massive 100 inch by 42 inch solid mahogany front door, you get the sense that you have entered a castle. The elegant archways which adorn the foyer, the 10 foot ceiling height, the unique tumbled marble floor which is laid in a cobblestone pattern, the beautiful light fixtures and the abundance of natural light, all create the feeling that you are strolling along a romantic street somewhere in Europe. Furthermore, the double walls, the solid extra high doors, the tall baseboards within which all of the electric plugs and central back points are set, as well as the unique look that is achieved by having round corners everywhere in the house, reinforce the fact that this house is like no other. Immediately to the right, we have the living dining areas, the perfect place for welcoming and entertaining your guests in elegance and style as they first come in. With dark stained hardwood floors, a wood-burning fireplace, and a south-facing large bay window, the space is absolutely magnificent. To add to the setting, a majestic floor-to-ceiling cast stone mantle has been custom designed to complete the look and feel of the room. Once the guests have enjoyed a drink and some conversation in the living room, they may be welcomed directly into the adjacent dining room to be seated at the table for a meal, one which will be prepared in the fully equipped gourmet kitchen. If you are entertaining a large group of guests, both the living and the dining room can be transformed into a 27 foot by 14 foot large room, able to comfortably entertain a party of 30 guests or more. This is one of the benefits of this type of layout, where the living and dining rooms are combined. Naturally, you may wish to accompany the dinner party with some music, so in the living, dining, and kitchen areas, we have provided roughed-in wires for ceiling speaker systems. To further set the mood, a Tiffany-style chandelier with a height adjustment mechanism is centrally located above the dining room table, with Italian metal sconces which are controlled by a dimmer. Also, as done throughout the house, ample ceiling pot lights are available for even more light, if needed. Now, your guest dining experience can truly be complete. Across from the living dining area, between the front door and the staircase, is the den, or library room. With a large bay window facing the west as well as a window facing south, you can just imagine that this room enjoys the natural light throughout the day. Fully equipped with Cat5 system, a flat screen TV, 5.1 surround sound and built-in bookshelves, the room has everything you will need to either relax with a book, or to be holding your meetings with clients. As in the living dining areas, the floor in the den is the dark stained quarter sewn oak. Past the staircase and to the left, a 16 foot by 15 foot family room is where you'll want to relax and watch TV with your family and friends. And not just any TV, the 52 inch Sony Bravia LCD with surround sound, naturally, is just a bit of what the room includes. With two sets of double French glass doors facing the west, the light shining in will turn this room into a sunroom. Opening the doors, you can step out into the balconies with cast iron railings which, just as the rest of the elements in this home, were custom designed with the French provincial theme in mind. And of course, what family room would be complete without a fireplace that you can cozy up to? So here we have a gas fireplace, which, Similarly to the living room fireplace, is encased in a cast stone mantle. Only this time, the design is inspired by Louis XIV, and in the spirit of that era, the unique sconces in the room complement the theme. Across from the family room, and adjacent to the dining room, is where you will find the main powder room. With furniture like vanity and a large custom mirror to match, with granite countertop and marble floor, as well as a top-of-the-line sink and faucet, your guests will never want to come out. Well, maybe once they smell the food. Which leads us to the next, yet one of the most important parts of the house, the kitchen. And what a kitchen this one is! The best chef could not dream of cooking in a better kitchen, and you should expect no less. This here is a framed gourmet kitchen, with ample cabinet space, a large island which was also configured and designed to serve as a tabletop for four diners, 
magnificent granite countertops, mosaic marble backsplash with plenty of electrical outlets, a double sink with large window overlooking the backyard, and a water filter system. This is just the beginning. Your kitchen here incorporates appliances such as the Sub-Zero double door fridge, the combined KitchenAid oven and microwave, the KitchenAid warming drawer, the five burner Bosch gas cooktop, and the Miele dishwasher. The drawer hardware is heavy duty and incorporates a soft close mechanism. Notice also that all of the cabinetry interior is made of marine plywood, unlike the melamine in most kitchens. Another nice feature here is the pop filler. Set into the backsplash above the cooktop and directly connected to the hot water line, there is no need for carrying the heavy pot after filling it with water from the sink to the cooktop. After all, preparing pastas and soups don't need to take a toll on your back. So, as you can see, even though the look of this dream kitchen was inspired by old charm with plenty of moldings and details, yet its plan and functionality answers all of today's gourmet kitchen needs. And, while working or eating in the kitchen, you also have a view of the family room. Perhaps your kids are playing there and you want to keep an eye on them, or perhaps you only wish to take advantage and enjoy the ample natural light flowing in from the west. The superb layout took that into account as well. Because throughout the summertime, you, your family, and your guests are likely to desire to eat and spend time on the outdoor patio, the kitchen has a direct access to it from the rear of the house. As well, when bringing in groceries into the house from the garage, the fact that there is this direct access to the kitchen allows for both speed and ease in that aspect. In old times, the kitchen staff used an additional room, called the servery, to act as a buffer zone between the kitchen and the dining room. A room where, for example, the platters of food were arranged prior to bringing them out to the guests. In here as well, the design incorporates a servery area with a swinging door out to the dining room, a room providing not only additional counter space with cabinets below and overhead, but also incorporating a pantry wall with tall doors and plenty of shelving space.